Well, good afternoon. Thought I would do a little chatty get ready with me video and give you a life update on what's going on with Lexi. So get ready with me to go pick Lexi up from school. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my glasses off and take my hair down. It was just thrown up into a hair tie this morning, but I actually want to make it look a little nicer, put into a claw clip because I do have to teach the after school program at church. So I kind of want my hair to look decent. I've let my roots grow out. Um, definitely time to get uh, my roots looking the rest of my hair. So I will definitely need to um, get some highlights touched up soon. But I kind of wanted to just kill two birds with one stone, get this video filmed and get my makeup done because I'm in a hurry. So I've gone back to work full time for the big box reeler tailor that I work at. Um, we just needed that little extra boost to get the last of her medical bills paid off and then we had her surgery for her teeth. So I, yeah, that's what I needed to go back to work full time. So it's been a bit of an adjustment. My husband fixed his schedule, but I'm still able to take Lexi to school every morning and there are some days where I even get to pick her up from school. So that's pretty awesome. So the first thing I do is um, if I felt like I needed to wash my face, I would, but I'm just gonna put on some moisturizer. Love a good moisturizer, especially when it's getting cold out. It was in the 40s this morning and the high is only in the low 60s today. I also have a second moisturizer that I use that has some um, stuff to help the redness on my face. My face just is generally sensitive and red most of the time. And then I use an eye cream. I like a good eye cream for under uh, my makeup. Don't mind my nails, they've mostly come off. I've had my gel nails on for over two weeks that I do myself and it's time to change them and so I just started picking at them, which you're not supposed to do, but when I go to change them out to Halloween nails for the last couple weeks of October, I'll take it off for real. And then last but not least, and most importantly, in any morning skincare routine, is a good mineral sunscreen. You can use a chemical one, I suppose, if you want. But for my sensitive skin, I try to use mineral sunscreens. Same with Lexi. She uses mineral sunscreens. So that is a good foundation. And I don't normally use a makeup primer. I feel like my mineral sunscreen does a good job. It just, between that and my skincare, I'm good. I'm almost 40. I feel like I'm fine. So, um, the reason I wanted to make this video is because Lexi has had a lot of stuff going on this fall. She's accomplished a few things, and so I just kind of wanted to brag on her for a bit. So, um, before I get started with that, I'll show you the foundation I'm using. I like the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me. Um, it just works really well, and I use number 125, the Nude Beige. It just works really well. I put it on with my fingers, and then I blend it in with my blender sponge. So, anyway, uh, Lexi, as you know, has been going to various types of therapy over the years. So last year, like kindergarten, it was mostly um, physical therapy. And then first grade, she didn't um, really need physical therapy, but she did, um, we tried to figure out her going to regular therapy because she was having some issues sleeping. And we just didn't really connect with that therapist locally. So we decided to reach out to the survivorship team of children at our next appointment back then and see if we could get in to a therapist there. They have two therapists, a uh, psychologist really, 
doctors of psychology that are specific to the oncology department and deal specifically with those types of kiddos. And we were so lucky to get the brand new therapist slash psychologist there. Um, she is wonderful and she spent eight years in the trenches at St. Jude's. I think I mentioned that in a video another time. So it was wonderful. And we worked on um, making a poke plan with her. This is Maybelline. Um, this is also the Fit Me con and it's the concealer. And uh, I don't remember which one this is. Oh yes, one. Cool Ivory. This was, they were, I think I normally use number five. Uh, but they were out of that one and I was too lazy to like try to look somewhere else or order online. So I'm just like, eh, anyway. well. But normally I think I use a more warmer toned one because my skin's a little warm. But that's okay. I try not to use too much, but it looks like more in the light like of the camera than what it actually looks like in real life. So it's really not that bad. It just looks like it is. So anyway, um, I just draw a line down the center and that just kind of highlights my nose and covers up any extra redness I tend to get right there, so. Anyway, uh, so Lexi has been going to the therapist for psychologist for her sleep issues. So she was having lots of um, anxiety at night and it got to the point where I was sleeping in her bedroom. It started with me being in the corner until she fell asleep and then sneaking out and then it graduated to me being in her bedroom. Um, to set my concealer, I can, in case you didn't know, I guess I like Maybelline, I used the Fit Me Powder, Matte and Poreless Powder, um, and just in number 100 translucent. I'm not trying to add any more. I just, my T-zone tends to get really shiny, so I use some of this Matte and Poreless Powder just to kind of cover things up. But anyway, so we went to her for that and then Lexi was gonna have her teeth surgery. So we worked on the poke plan first. And then once we worked on the poke plan, she worked on coping skills. Like, okay, this is what it feels like when I have these anxious feelings and here's how I can cope with them. And then we slowly worked on getting back into the chair. So for two weeks, we just worked on Let's both of us sit in the corner. I'm not going to sleep in your bed anymore, but I promise you I will sit in the corner. And if you wake up at night, I will make sure and put you back to sleep and get you all settled in. So after two weeks, she was able to do that. And then the psychologist said, okay, now it's time to start moving out of the room when you put her to sleep. So that was a gradual transition because with Lexi, uh, we can't just spring things on her. Uh, pause for a minute. So this is uh, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer Palette. This apparently is a limited edition one. I don't know, but uh, I used up all of the lighter one. And so now I'm using the medium one. I don't know that I'll actually ever use the darker one. It's called a sunset bronzer, but I just put it around the outer edges of my face. And then I also do my jawline and a little bit on my cheeks just to give my face some color because I tend to look kind of pale. But anyway, so the therapist had us move the chair. Um, we got a folding chair instead of sleep or sitting in her little chair in the corner, her like reading of chair, like one of those saucer chairs. So each night we would move the chair closer and closer to the door till the last night I was outside the door, like with my foot just barely in. And then after that, I folded up the chair and put it away. So the next night when I went to um, put her to bed, she asked me where the chair was. And I said, well, uh, the chair was already outside the door, so we didn't need it anymore, so I folded it up and put it away, and she was like, oh, okay. 
And we had discussed prior to that and in her sessions that she already slept in her room during the daytime for naps. Like if she was sick and wasn't feeling well and she didn't need us in there for that. So it wasn't really much different except for it was a nighttime. That's all it was. So she kind of was like, oh, okay, maybe I can do this. So we tried that next night. I put her to sleep. She slept all night. And she's been doing that ever since. She doesn't need us in there anymore. We do her little nighttime routine where we have her relax. We've got this little paper that we go through of sayings like relaxing every part of your body, squeeze your lemon, squeeze all the juice out so that relaxes your hands and then you can relax them. And then you wrinkle your nose like a fly, you get a fly on your nose, and then you relax your nose. And then you arch back like a cat. Oh, you stretch and then you relax. Then you're like a turtle in a shell with your neck and then you relax and then you're tackling some peanut butter. You move your jaw around and then you relax and then you tense up your tummy because you see a baby elephant coming to step on your tummy and then you relax that and then her favorite thing is digging your toes down into the sand. She loves the sand, scrunching them up and then that's what helps her relax and fall asleep. I am going to do um, an easy uh, makeup look today. So this is the one palette I've been using a lot lately, the Milani Gilded Mini Eyeshadow Palette. Um, so what I usually do is just take one of these little like packer brushes. All my brushes are from Real Techniques. I could not tell you which color because, or which number, because they're all like rubbed off but this says it's a shading brush I don't know and I use I like sparkles for daytime there's a way to dress it up for nighttime too or even just a plain uh yeah anyway so I'm no longer sleeping in Lexi's bed and we are no longer in Lexi's room she goes to sleep on her own and she told us sometimes she has trouble falling asleep she's learned to just count numbers in her head or tell herself a story in her head till she falls asleep. But honestly, we'll usually go back and sneak a peek and check on her 10 minutes later because she likes her door to stay open until she's asleep and then we'll just kind of leave it barely cracked open. And she's usually already asleep. She's so tired from the end of the day. She's exhausted from school, especially PE days where she's in second grade now and they're doing more physical activity. Uh, she's got dance on Mondays. So she just keeps really busy. And so she sleeps well at night, thankfully. She still goes to bed at 8 o'clock. She just really needs her sleep at night. Okay, so once I have that on there, I take this fluffier brush and I go in with this other kind of like coppery color. And I do that kind of in my crease and on the outer edges. I keep trying to into my phone and do it but it's easier to look in the mirror anyway so she's sleeping much better and then she um got a great report i think i told you in her last oncology visit so we're good there um still getting sick a lot but that is to be expected her immune system is crap pardon my french it's just not what it used to be and we don't know that it ever will Spoken to several people who said that when you get your immune system knocked down by chemo, it just is what it is and it doesn't really come back what it used to be. So once I've got that done, um, then I just take this big fluffy brush and I just kind of blend it all together. So that way it just kind of looks like a smooth thing. And then don't judge my eyebrows. My eyebrows are terrible right now. So I need to get them waxed. When I go and get my hair done, they're going to get waxed. I usually wax them myself, but I kind of just let them grow out this time because I know I'd be getting my hair done. So that way she can just wax them. So I'll get them professionally waxed like every once in a while. And then in between times, I just use the Sally Hansen wax strips to like take care of it. So I just kind of use this is a real techniques it's got the uh thing on the one side where i can 
little brush where I can brush my eyebrows. And then it's got a angle brush. And I just use the Milani Bold Obsessions palette. And I use this dark brown color as my eyeliner. If I use liquid liner, I would have to use waterproof. My stuff just tends to run. Like even my mascara transfers no matter what I do unless I use waterproof. And so it's just easier to use a powder. Um, and then I can use that to fill in my eyebrows too. So uh, the biggest thing that we just happened to Lexi that we're super pumped about, also nervous about, is that... They get to, next Monday, bring in their favorite book if they want, and they can read it to their class. And I'll see if I can insert a picture of Lexi's favorite book somewhere down up there, I guess. Um, her favorite book right now, that has been for a while, is... Uh, Chemo to the Rescue. It was written by the family of a little girl who had chemo, blood uh, leukemia in fact, and so they wanted to um, write a book that kind of explained exactly what you go through, only they wanted to make it in a way that kids could understand. So I think that looks Almost decent on the eyebrows. Okay. So, Lexi loves this book. The only person, though, that she's ever told about her um, chemo experience, like all her cancer, that she actually had cancer, is her best friend from school. Uh, this is... An old Mary Kay blush. My roommate in college used to sell Mary Kay and so did my cousin sold Mary Kay. So I still have some Mary Kay things. And so this is also a Mary Kay blush brush. So I just used that. Could not tell you what color it is. <laughs> and since this is um, an everyday look, I'm not really gonna do any highlighter if I was going out I would do some highlighter on the cheeks. I have a Milani highlighter and maybe my nose, but I'm not going to do that. So the last thing is mascara. And I bought this because this used to be my jam back in college. I normally use the CoverGirl one, but that, I think they've changed their formula. I don't really like this, but I bought it, so I'm going to use it. Um, until it's empty because I don't want to waste it and then I'm going to go back to my cover girl. But anyway, so Lexi wanted to read this book and I had to get with her and ask her if she was willing for her entire class to know that she had cancer, which she said she was. I was like, that's amazing. And then I had to send a message to her teacher this morning saying, hey, it's the Monday before, we're gonna send this book in her backpack so you can preview it, because here's what it discusses. It's a kid-friendly way of explaining about leukemia, but we know this is a sensitive topic, and it's also like a little wordy, like there's not tons of pages, but there's a good-sized paragraph on each page, so we just kind of wanted to be respectful of the teacher and the classroom and the other parents and be like, this is what this book is and this is what it discusses and make sure that they were okay with her sharing it. And the teacher wrote back, that's fine. I'm happy to take a look at it, but how brave of her to be willing to share this to the class. So it sounds like the teacher's probably on board and she's gonna make it happen. Um, so we are super excited for that. So I think that's my makeup for today. Yeah, put my glasses on so you can get, the, oh, I need to clean my glasses. Don't judge me. <laughs> but uh, that's what's going on. So hopefully we're going to get the approval for Lexi to do that book and she'll read it next Monday. And maybe I can update with a short sometime next week about how it went. Um, 
Lexi was super excited to read that book to her class. Literally, the only people that knows are family, the people, the kids from church because they grew up with her in the church. And then she told her best friend. And that's the only person she's told from school. So hopefully you enjoyed this little life update and me getting ready. I don't really do anything fancy with my makeup. So um, thank you so much for watching. And as Lexi always says, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we upload another video. Bye.